Hello, everyone, and welcome to a guide for my girl, Artemis. Sarah there almost went full Metroid on her ass and assumed her gender since she's in a gosh darn spacesuit. <laughs> Unlike our space pirate friend over here, Artemis is primarily focused on killing Orion for some reason according to her lore, which is, you know, completely fine with me in all honesty, causing her title of The Answer to suit her very, very well. I went into learning Artemis without any real idea as to how one plays Scythe or even its attacks, but after going through blood, sweat, and a ludicrous amount of lost elo, I think I deserve a pat on the back. I'm damn good at Scythe. I can, you know, maybe string three attacks together in a real game instead of a custom, so, I mean, people refer to me as the best Artemis NA on my stream, if that's any indication how completely cracked I am at him, her, her, her. She uses a Scythe called the Galaxy Lance and a Scythe called the Starry Scythe. Her skins are Rock Solid Artemis, Reinhardt Artemis, Brighter Colored Artemis, Cool Artemis, Gold Artemis, and the Battle Pass Artemis skin. Yes, I am fully aware that Blue Mammoth completely missed the opportunity to make a Zero Suit Artemis skin. Yes, I know that Blue Mammoth need to get their shit together and not make a gosh darn mobile game and get to work on Zero Suit Artemis and Band Member Isaiah immediately. Sadly though, I don't make the rules or control the gremlins that work at BMG, so I can't really do anything about that. Guess what time it is? That's right, motherfuckers, it's time for the Rapid Fire Rundown. Welcome to the segment called Rapid Fire Rundown, where I give a brief overview of the weapons my girl uses in a timely manner so you can put off your jam. <laughs> so, <laughs> so you can put off your <laughs> So you can put off your jam. <laughs> so you can <laughs> So you can put off your jam and start to slam as soon as possible. If you already know your shit, then you can use the timestamps on like the timeline thing or uh, the description below to skip to the part of the video that relates to her SIGs and whatnot. Before we get into the weapons, I'm going to go ahead and define some terminology that you may or may not be familiar with. SIGs, also known as signatures, are the heavy attacks that are different for every character. Neutral SIG is where you don't move and press the heavy attack button. Side SIG is where you hold left or right while pressing the heavy attack button. And down SIG is where you hold down while pressing the heavy button. Light attacks follow the same exact pattern, but are the same for every legend that uses the weapon. Light air attacks also follow the neutral, side, and down patterns but are in the air. Finally, there is a recovery and a ground pound. Spot dodges refer to when you dodge in place, and if you spot dodge in the air, you'll do something called a gravity cancel, where your acceleration stops and you stand in place for a brief moment. This gives you a window to attack in the air as if you are grounded, allowing you to do things like sig or do a normal neutral light. A combo is a chain of attacks that you can't dodge out of, while strings are chains of attacks that you can dodge out of. You might also have heard of something called like a true combo, which is just a normal combo, but further emphasizes the fact that you can't dodge out of it. You may also have heard of like landing a combo true true, which just means that you landed the combo without any dodge frames, because if you fuck it up a little bit, then you can actually dodge out of the combo. A dodge read is where you predict where the other player will dodge after you attack to further hit them. There's my terminology. Keep it with you until the grave. Fucking piece of shit. While lacking in combos, Scythe is a very stringy and dodge ready weapon. This makes any sort of structured introduction to Scythe to be rather difficult to make, but you know, I'll try my best. Let's start with Sidelight. Sidelight is primarily used as a grounded engage and has no true combos. It, however, sets up very nicely for stringing with neutral air, down light, side air, and neutral light. Downlight is also a nice engage, has very good range, but there is a dead zone in the center, making it very easily punishable if you miss. Downlight also doesn't have any true combos, but can be stringed with side air and downlight. Down air is actually nuts. It can be stringed with pretty much anything, including neutral light, side light, and neutral air. On the edge, you can string down air with another down air or a ground pound. Landing either of them is probably the most satisfying part of Scythe, so you know, try it out, see if you believe me. Tee hee, tee hee. Side air makes a swiping movement that is really safe as an edge guard without having too much reading involved. It can be stringed with neutral air and recovery. Neutral air is like down air, but it goes up. It's mainly useful to string with other attacks as its hitbox is really small, which makes it really difficult to hit. You can string it with side air, recovery, and another neutral air. 
Scythe Recovery is arguably the best recovery of any weapon in the game besides maybe Axe since it's fast, has a lot of active frames, and moves diagonally. I find myself landing this way more often than one would expect. You can recover onto an edge in combo with a side lit or neutral light. Ground Pound is sort of bad, the hitbox only becomes big when you release it or hit someone with a very small hitbox, making it pretty hard to land without stringing or comboing it. That's it for Scythe, let's move to Lance. So if you're the average Lance player, you probably span down air until you win. And while that's a lot of what Lance is, I'm here to teach you how to play Lance beyond the surface level free low way, you know, so it works past golds. Since I've been making fun of down air, specifically the people who spam it, let's start with down air. Down air is really good because it's a very nice jump read, and since every low elo player spams jump you can land it a lot in low elo, and even if they don't jump, you can just hit it anyway, making down air a very viable strategy, especially in low elo. You can follow it up with a side air for a different jump read, and you can also string down air with neutral light for a very low dodge frame read, or side light, which has more dodge frames but can be stringed with another down air. Alright, so apparently I forgot to read the rest of the fucking script for this lance segment here, so I'll just do it live, and I don't want to like... Re <laughs> record this shit to, you know, we'll just fucking do it live real quick. So, yeah, I just did down here, right? So, um, another thing, uh, another, like, good engage or whatever besides down air, right, is, um, is side light, and you can pair that with a down air there, right? Or you can also do, um, a side air as well if they jump up as a jump read. Um, and I don't feel like putting the bot there, but just trust me on that one. And I'll, basically, I should also just say real quick, basically do down air if they're going to go under you, side air if they're going to be in front of you, or jump, right? And then when they're above you, you neutral air. Neutral air is also really good for, like, uh, zoning. You can just do this bullshit. <laughs> and, like, oops. Sorry, it's really difficult to do this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. just kind of spam this shit. Speaking of neutral air, we'll talk more about neutral air. You can do that as well with the side light, by the way. Um, anything I'm missing? You can do that. And I think that's true. Yeah, it is true. So that's a true combo right there. Side light into down air. And then what you can do is uh, down, air, down air, side light, down air. You can just spam that shit all day. You have a neutral light as a spot dodge read. And that's about it. You can also, I guess, do that. Oh no, you can do that, rather. Uh, recovery, uh, be very, 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 very careful with recovery. Because recovery, your, your trajectory is just indicated, like, immediately. Like, this is, it's very obvious where you're gonna go. And if the person has been playing for long enough, they can even read where you're going to roughly be and punish you with, like, a ground pound or, like... Uh, like a side air, some shit like that. But on the flip side of the coin for that kind of thing, right? They also don't expect you to fucking hold it down, like, for no reason sometimes. <laughs> it, it, so it's kind of good for baiting people into running into it. And so if you, like, kind of fly into where they're going to, like, recover into and hold it down, then it's a really nice bait, I guess, for them to think, oh, yeah, I'll just dodge it or whatever, and then... You wait for them to dodge and then you hit it. You can also use side airs and engage. And this is where kind of like the float lance thing kind of goes into play here. Is like kind of doing that. You know, dodge around and dodge behind them in side air. You can also do that with neutral, I mean down air. But you might not do as much damage. And it's also um, it's kind of hard to hit sometimes here and there. But yeah. And once again, it's really good as a jump read. You can do that as a jump read too. Oh yeah. You, and then neutral light. Neutralite's really, uh, also good for, it has really long range, I think, it's not quite as long as that, but it also has more active frames, right? So this is really hard to punish here, so what's nice if, if your opponent's really grounded and shit, you can just, like, run around and then, like, give him a couple love taps, you feel me? Um, compared to this, where, like, if you miss, you have, like, a lot of time right here, see, where you can't really do anything. This is me trying to dodge, right, as fast that I'm spam dodging whenever I land this. See how much time there is there? So you can very easily get punished. You know, this? Immediate. Immediate. You can get out of the way. Final thing, ground pound is very, very fast. It also a nice little bait, as you see there. Um, you can do that, and it makes it look like you're gonna miss, but then you actually land it. Or, you can purposely, if I can actually purposely do it, hit the ground, and, like, the explosion thing will have a hitbox, and so you can actually, like, gimp someone and be a total asshole like that. And yeah, the one thing I would not do, except for this one case, is hit the ground with this ground pound because it's really, really punishable because you're just kind of sitting there. And once again, this is me dodging, spam dodging. 
Like, look at that. That is a lot of times to... A lot of time to fucking get punished. So, don't, don't do it above ground unless you're <laughs> somehow really sure that you're gonna land it. I guess if they side sick for some reason right fucking under you. I don't know. That's the only thing. And also, it takes a long time to cancel it. See? Like, I let go immediately. Right? And did you see that shit? It lasts a long time. So, you're, you're committing to it no matter what you do. And so, be careful when doing it. Because, like, you're gonna... Basically, you're going to be forced to recover up like this or jump, waste all your jumps to get onto the ledge where they can ground pound you and then you're boom. Bye bye. Bye bye. That's it. Now let's go back to um, Tyler from the past. I guess this is also in the past now, but you know what I mean. Now let's talk about Artemis's sight sig. You know what I'm saying? Sight sig causes Artemis to charge forward and slash in the same direction. She then goes. <laughs> <laughs> this sig is all right, I guess. It's really slow, but I land it unexpectedly often when stringing it with a downlight or side light. This sig really excels at being a dodgery due to like the kind of leap that Artemis makes whenever you sig. Something I personally like doing is to downlight and hit someone away from me, chase dodge behind them, and side sig as an inwards dodge read or some other dodgery too, probably. Another string is down air side sig. You can also start this string with a neutral light. You need a gravity cancel to land it, but it's a much more consistent string. Downside causes Artemis to jump up and shoot an orb downwards diagonally. Upon impact, it explodes and Artemis slices at the target. You can use this sig as a very nice edge guard since the orb will move down the ledge a little bit, catching them. Though I wouldn't try this against a bow. A string is down air down sig. This is also a nice inwards or spot dodge read to switch things up from your normal strings. Since you jump upwards, you can also use it as kind of like a counter where you use it to pop over them and hit them when you predict that they will attack you. Similar to Ember's down sig if you know what I'm talking about. Something important to note about this sig is that if you miss the initial orb, it'll explode and kind of lie flat on the floor which will catch them if someone steps on your blob of purple shit. Neutral sig causes Artemis to jump and slice diagonally. This sig is very, very good and isn't too easily punished. You can string it with down light, neutral light, and neutral air when you are in the air at lower damages. As I said before, Scythe is almost entirely reads, which means making a coherent guide that isn't just figure it out on your own, sort of difficult, but once again, I'm gonna try my best. Your main engages are going to be side light, down air, and down light, with down light being the most dangerous since it's really easy to both miss and punish. Down air is probably the best way to engage, but will become predictable when you do it too often, which is where side light comes in to sort of spice things up, if you know what I mean. Whenever landing any of these engages, just try to string it with as many things as humanly possible until they dodge out of it. Scythe is really good on the ledge when taking advantage of your down air and neutral air, but be aware that there will be a window of time where you'll be falling down while you use it. So think of your kind of escape route before trying anything crazy with it. If you do it really low off the ledge, then you better fucking land it, because if you don't, chances are you're going to die if you mess your shit up and your opponent is halfway competent. Use side stick mostly as a dodge read since it's very, very punishable. I mean, I have landed it sometimes that isn't just like punishing a dip like the other person's fucked up side sig or as a dodge read but that is very rare and risky down sig also works as a nice dodge read as well as a good edge guard and nothing else really you can kind of string it with down air i guess but that's about it and then just spam the shit out of neutral sig because that sig is probably the best one on scythe and it's very very nice I love it. Don't use it all the time, obviously, but you know, you, you can, you, <laughs> you, you need less moderation with this one. I'd say weapons that counter scythe are ones that really affect people's positioning, such as like sword or cannon, maybe even, ga yeah, gauntlets too, lands, all that shit, because it kind of forces you to like ch change shit up, because like, you know, in an ideal world, then You'll, your positioning would be perfect or whatever, but they force you to kind of stay close to them and, you know, you want to keep your fucking distance when you're playing Scythe, you feel me? And try to get into those, like, strings, you know? Now to talk about Lance. Let's go, baby, let's go! Lance's side sig causes Artemis to stick the ass end of her lance out and lunges forward, creating an orb in front of it, catching anyone in it and then explodes after a brief moment, sending Artemis back to the other side of the planet. This sig is fucking ridiculous, alright? If you sig from far enough away as to land only the edge of the sig, 
SIG is just completely fucking unpunishable. Like, there's literally no counterplay to the SIG as long as you don't suck ass. Basically, if you like to SIG spam, here you go. This is the SIG. It's fast, it moves to the other side of the map, and it's impossible to punish. Enjoy. Thanks, Blue Mammoth. Something I like to do to abuse the ridiculousness of this SIG is to side SIG as sort of like a bait for them to punish me, and since you can't fucking punish this SIG, you uh, follow it up with something like a side air or something to hit them. For strings, you have down air, neutral light, side SIG, which by the way really only works if you hit the other player off the map with the neutral light, since they'll usually just dodge out of it way before the SIG lands, and then you have down air or side air, side SIG, you know, whichever floats your boat, it doesn't really matter, it's kind of the same thing. Lance down SIG causes Artemis to float and move forward a short distance if you hold it down, and shoot a shitload of space scoop below her. This is just a pretty standard down sig. I'd pretty much only use it as an edge guard or a dodge read. A really nice string is side light down sig. I think it has like six dodge frames. This can work exceptionally well as a pun if they are close to the edge, by the way. So, you know, just, you know, there's, there's a little tidbit of information if you care. And the other string has too high of an amount of dodge frames to really be noteworthy. Although that didn't stop me before with the other sigs. But <laughs> <laughs> Neutral Sig causes Artemis to make an orb with her hand and shoots it diagonally. Upon hitting a target, it explodes, setting the target upwards and Artemis flies up and hits the target with her lance. It's a pretty fast Sig and it's at that perfect catches literally everything angle. You can use it to kind of catch people who jump over you when ledge guarding. For strings, I guess, you can do like Neutral Air Neutral Sig. Lance is the epitome of a noob stomper. It hard punishes predictable movements such as an overuse of jumps and shit like sig spamming. Its greatest drawback is also its greatest strength, and that is positioning. With the right positioning, you can pretty much always take priority over the other person's attack and are also able to easily punish their attacks, especially sigs. However, if you don't position properly and overly rely on side air and down air for your movement, you become very easily predicted and punished, completely shutting you down. Therefore, pay extra attention to your positioning, even though that should probably probably be true for every weapon, my point is still valid. You also are going to want to spam the shit out of that side sig because you really can't be punished for it unless someone is above you when you sig. It's very easy to kill someone off the ledge with lance, but keep in mind that if you go too far from the ledge and need to use your recovery due to its very predictable trajectory. Or you can just disregard all this shit and spam down air and you'll do fine. I'd say lance struggles the most with things that like have a lot of distance to it that can outrange it such as like bow, spear, or even scythe kind of, and also maybe great sword, though I haven't played enough great swords yet to really prove that, but my guess is that it counters it a little bit, you know? In conclusion, Scythe is very fun. It makes you want to go mwah, mwah, mwah. It's probably risen to my second favorite weapon in the game. All I need now is a Scythe cannon legend and I can die happy, to be honest. Lance is fun, but I'm kind of over it at this point since I've played so many gosh darn Lance legends. Anyway, I have much less to say this time around for the conclusion, so this is the best Artemis NA, signing off. With your cortical eyes to get you